Hey guys, DJ Ravine here. Um, if you guys are following my Twitter, you will know that I've recently finished my exams, so that means I should have an electro mix out soon. And you would be right, but uh, it was my birthday yesterday, and I'm 21 now. So if I did decide to go to the States, I can finally start getting trashed. Uh, but in Australia, we get to drink at 18. Um, but anyways, uh, because of that, I decided to splurge on a lot of gear. And because everyone's been asking me so long now that, um, um, you know, what gear do you have? Um, I've decided to give you guys a tour. Because I've added a couple of new things to the library. And, um, yeah. Might as well do it all in one go. That's Flow by Luminate, by the way. You guys uh, seem to love that track. It's a great track by Luminate. It's on the uh, latest jam. But anyways... This little baby there, as you can read, it's a CDJ 400 by Pioneer. Uh, let's fire this one up. But these things, they go hard. They are pretty much a, um, they're, they're like a baby 800 uh, or 1000 CDJ from uh, Pioneer. Because it does, it scratches, it um, has wide pitch, has all that. The only thing that I've found is missing is um, is braking. You know how um, when you when you press the stop button, it it doesn't exactly just stop instantly. It goes. Brrr. It doesn't have that feature. But uh, besides that, it's got almost everything else. And it also comes with um, it comes with USB, which is really awesome. What hell is it? Okay, I, I, I can't find it. But it's got a. Uh, it's also got another USB port there, which you can put a flash drive in, and you can DJ from a flash drive, which is pretty damn sweet as well. Um, and seriously, if you are deciding you want CDJ 1000s or 800s, and you can't afford them, seriously pick these up. They're so good. Um, and of course, we got the Stanton STR 8150s, my first ever piece of gear. They are so damn solid. Never miss the beat, um, and they are. Absolutely the bomb for scratching. As you can see, they have the straight arm. The straight arm reduces skippage while you scratch. Um, and they have an extremely strong motor. Uh, I can actually show you later on. They actually grind your nails if you put them on a high speed. Um, then we've got the DJM909 from Pioneer. It's got a nice little touch screen here. So um, if I want to choose the roll effect, which goes... Oh, that's, a, that's not it. You know, you, you, um, you can do the, uh, the repeating thing. That's pretty sweet. Um, and then you got your three banks of effects. You can do a lot of crazy stuff. You can connect the microphone and um, using pitch shifter, pretend you're Darth Vader, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and this comes with optical crossfader, so that um, it, does ne it never ever bleeds. So, because uh, sometimes if you abuse your crossfader too much, it eventually starts, um, you get crackles and sometimes it doesn't completely cut. With optical ones, it won't ever do that. But they, I do believe they've discontinued this mixer now. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know why, it's really, really good. It's a perfect mix because it's got the effects for your dance mixing and then you got your scratching if you want to do a little bit of, uh, you got a, the uh, scratch of crossfader. You got some scratching, so that's pretty sweet. Um, Needle-wise, I've got Sure M44Gs. This they say M44-7, but um, you can they're, they're interchangeable. And these are really good because they have good sound and they're also really really good for scratching. So that's another good thing. Then we got the um, Pioneer HDJ 1000s. Recently they released um, some new ones. I think they're HDJ 2000s or something, and they're made of well, they're made of some kind of metal. And it's really light, uh, but they are really expensive. These babies, however, have uh, served me quite well. Um, Cots has a pair as well. They are really, really good. Uh, honestly, I reckon they're a really good purchase. However, if you uh, do abuse your headphones, they're probably not the best ones, as they do tend to crack, apparently. But mine and uh, Cots are going hard. Uh, then we've got good old Scratch Live, as you can see. You might be able to see here some battle scars there from uh, putting in my bag and... Chucking it around, but this thing is rock solid. Let's play another track. Hmm, what should we pick? So let's pick something else. Illuminate. Lumin. 
eight. Okay, what do you guys like? You guys like Tetris? Let's give Tetris a go. Play. Um, and uh, Scratch Live is exactly what you just saw me use there. This baby lets you play MP3s on um, on control vinyl. So this Scratch is just like real vinyl. And that's what I use all the time because it is just a dream to use. And also, you, unlike CDs, you don't have to burn CDs anymore. Um, and like vinyl, you well, you don't have to buy vinyl. You just go and buy digital, which is like a buck a track or something ridiculous. Uh, I, I mean, I've even seen like track packs that go for like like 20 tracks for five bucks, whereas one vinyl will cost about um, like vinyl will cost you maybe fifteen twenty dollars for two tracks just not worth it these days but anyways um, you might have just seen it that these are the new additions Yamaha HS50 monitors I've been using computer speakers for the last three years so I finally upgraded they're quite good actually I, I, I do like them lacking a bit of bass though which is a bit disappointing uh, and then we got the iMac the 24 inch iMac it runs Serato like a dream uh, and also I'm going to be using this baby for Logic, um, perhaps Ableton in the future. See how we go. This is going to be mainly um, a music uh, music computer. Then we got the uh, Novation SL. Nice MIDI controller. Should have uh, served me quite well. And then we got the uh, Audio Control 1 by Native Instruments. It's uh, just uh, any old sound card. Uh, it's a great budget one, so if you want to pick one up, uh, they're a good one to get. And a terabyte hard drive from um, WD. It's a studio edition, so it's got the Firewire. Let's uh, Serato run a lot better. And also because it doesn't hog up USB space, I don't get the um, new USB crackles anymore. Because if you've listened to my show, you sometimes hear a bit of crackling. That's because um, I'm I was streaming from a USB hard drive, and you're also using Serato for USB. Uh, but that's about it, actually. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll get Electromix up very soon. Also, Cots, I know you want to get a Mac as well. Do it.